project is the reinvention of the ladle. Uh, we call our product the squeeze, and it changes the way that you would take soup out of a bowl and pour it into a pot or a cup. One need that one of our group project members observed is people at like a Collis station, which is one of the self-serve food places on campus, was that people spill soup a lot when they're using the current ladle. And so after that, we really were thinking, and we are thinking, wow, I feel like there's a better way to be doing this. We're really big fans of Professor Roby, who's a professor in this department. Um, he taught us about this thing called the Kmart prototyping process, where you go to Kmart or an equivalent store and buy a lot of stuff that you feel like could maybe have analogous motions to what we wanted to emulate with our ladle. Our group project member, Greg, over here, when he saw the cookie scooper, he thought like, okay, this is something. Like, we can use this to build into our ladle. Daniela was great with SolidWorks and made all of these different 3D mold prints that we went through. You can see here, here, and here. Um, our final iteration of the SolidWorks was this with two double-sided ladle lips. Ideally, we'd have it be an ambidextrous ladle so that people could go, they could pour it whatever side they want. We built out the squeezing motion from the cookie scooper um, here, laid in the machine shop a particular um, like rod of, or spindle and adhered it to our 3D print. And see how there's no spilling? We really wanted to make sure that our ladle was durable, so we built a testing rig that runs with a motor that squeezes the um, ladle um, at a certain time per second, um, and we calculated out how many times it would probably be squeezed in a year to use like a, like a year's worth of squeezing, which was about 8,700 squeezes, which given our current rate of squeezing, it's about eight hours. So we ran the rig for eight hours so that we could put a year's worth of warranty on it, and it worked, and it's still working, and so we feel pretty confident that our squeeze motion will hold up. It's also been fun to see people's reaction. Like, someone earlier was like, wow, why had no one else come up with this? And like, that's the kind of thing we wanted to hear when doing this process, because it should be so simple. Like, why aren't all ladles like the squeeze?